Hello everybody, welcome to Corey Turner Talks Cars, and today's going to be a weird show. I know it's going to be a weird show. I did not plan on it being a weird show. In fact, I was getting a 0-60 to 60 all together and ready. That's what we were going to shoot when I saw a video, and it made me think of a conversation I had about a month and a half or so ago, and all of a sudden, this realization hit me, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to ask you guys what you think. So I need your input, I need your thoughts, your comments, let me know if I'm way off base. This is about the new C8. This is about the new Corvette, the amazing mid-engine Corvette. Now, let me start off by saying this. I think this is a great evolution of the Corvette. I think it's a long time in coming. I think the new one looks absolutely amazing. I think they did a fantastic job of designing this car, uh, engineering this car. I think it's going to be legendary in you know, I'm waiting. To, we're going to see it on the roads everywhere. It's going to be an amazing sight to see. I think they did a great job with the Corvette. So why is today a weird episode? Well, it's because of this. I was, uh, I think I was on Instagram today and I was just looking at cars, which I always do. And this video right here came up and it's someone driving down the street and it's kind of raining. And here is a C8, C8 a brand new Corvette going down the road in the rain, looks absolutely amazing. And the question was, you know, what do you think about the C8? And I've seen um, thousands and thousands of pictures and videos of this car, but it hit me today. And it made me go back to a conversation I had about a month and a half ago with a friend of mine when he was like, what do you think about the Corvette? And I'm like, dude, it's awesome. It's amazing. This is, this is fantastic. And he goes, yeah, but it's going to be weird to see him everywhere, don't you think? And at the time, I didn't even though he went on and elaborated what he was talking about, it just didn't hit me. I was like, whatever, dude, this is a great Corvette. I wasn't quite that way. I totally understood what he was saying and it made sense, but I didn't feel it at that moment. And today when I was watching that video right there, I felt it. And this is what I felt. And it's this, when I was growing up, mid-engine cars were exotic cars. As a matter of fact, this is an old road and track, one of my absolutely favorites. This was from 1994, um, so I wasn't a kid at the time, but uh, definitely younger than I am now. And it was, you know, Lust for Lambos. As you can see, it's got all these great Lamborghinis on it. We got the Diablo, the Countach, the Mura. What a beautiful car that is, right? Uh, and these were mid-engine cars to me, the Lotus, the Ferrari, the Lamborghinis. And... Uh, those were special. I mean, when you saw a mid-engine car, one of those type of cars, it was super special. Now, don't get me wrong. We had some, we had the MR2, you know, we had some uh, mid-engine, rear-engine cars out there. But when you're really thinking about a true mid-engine sports car, performance car, it was these exotic cars that you think about. Um, so, I, you know, you didn't really think about a Corvette. And how many exotic mid-engine sports car have you seen this week, right? If you think about it. You probably haven't seen a lot. Now, I am very fortunate because of where I work and stuff, I get to see some nice cars in some of the locations I have to go to. So I'll get to see them. But even then, just driving along, I don't see that many, right? Uh, when a McLaren drives by, it's like, oh, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Lamborghini drives by, it's like, wow, look at that. That is really cool. Um, you don't see that many of them. Now, think about this. How many Corvettes have you seen this week? And I will bet you and say you've seen a lot more than you realize you've seen because it probably wasn't on your radar, but you've seen a lot of Corvettes, right? There are a lot of Corvettes out there. Uh, and at the price point that the C8 is going at, there's going to be a lot of mid-engine Corvettes out there. So in some ways, does that take away from the uniqueness of seeing a mid-engine performance sports car? I know that's a weird question, but I think it does just a little bit. And I'm not, like I say, I love the new Corvette. I think it is a perfect design. I think it's exactly where the car should go. But at the same time, it's almost like we're losing a little bit of that magic of getting to see a mid-engine exotic sports car, right? Um, and of course, still, I mean, the Corvette's not going to be an exotic car. That's not going to be a mass-produced car. But when you're talking about mid-engine sports car with these kind of lines, let's, 
let's be honest, it has some Ferrari-esque lines to it, it's reminiscent of an exotic sports car. So it's kind of weird. To say it made me sad is weird, but it did. It made me just kind of be like, oh, it's the end of an era, and now we're transitioning into a new one, and change is always tough. The other thing, now sad about thinking the fact that we're going to see mid-engine sports cars a lot now, and they're just going to become commonplace, is that we're not going to see these front-engine, muscular, brute, uh, brute force Corvettes anymore. These front-engine Corvettes that we have become so used to that's the iconic symbolism of that American muscle, right? That's, that's not going to be anymore. When you look at a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, these are sleek looking machines. Yeah, they're powerful, but they look like they can cut a hole through the night. When you look at it at Corvette right now, that thing's going to punch a hole in a brick wall, whatever it's headed into. I mean, it is sheer power and force. It's a different design than the mid-engines that you see. They're, they're both powerful. I don't mean that. A Lamborghini, Ferrari, they look great. But it's just a different feel when you see those two from American muscle to more that exotic design. So I know it's strange because, um, like I said, I love the new Corvettes, but I do feel like we're saying goodbye to an era where that mid-engine performance sports car, it was special to see one, and I think we're going to see a lot of them. So what do you think? Am I way off base? Maybe I'm just tired. It has been a really long week. Uh, maybe that's it, and I'm just tired, and and it caught me that way. But what do you think? Are you feeling the same way? Is it going to be weird to start seeing all these mid-engine sports cars out there? Have you even thought about it? Maybe you haven't thought about it, and I'm just losing my mind, which is a possibility. But either way, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment uh, uh, and tell me what your thoughts are on the new Corvette. Are you going to miss the fact that it's a special sighting to see a mid-engine sports car? I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you think. Remember to like, comment, and share. If you're watching us on YouTube, subscribe or ring the bell. If you're watching us on IGTV or Instagram, be sure to follow us. Facebook, do the same. Thank you for sharing us with your friends. Hey, we're we're growing every day. It's because of you and the fact that you're sharing us with your friends and letting people know about the show, and I can't thank you enough. So uh, remember, like, comment, share. Let's talk about cars tomorrow.